What's up, homies? This is not as I was expecting. I mindlessly let the door open to its full extent, taking it in sight of the solitary figure taking center stage in the otherwise abandoned room. The situation steals my voice, <sighs> leaving me standing at the doorway, staring at the beautiful girl. Evidently, having taken her time to ask the situation, the girl gently puts down her teacup and opens her eyes, but doesn't look at me. Hello there, may I help you? Staring directly in front of herself, the movements of her lips seem to break the silence rather than the words. However, it's the soft, measured voice that reminds me that she's being separated from the room itself. Not only is she is likely the tallest girl I ever laid eyes on, but even among the foreigners I met, she's strikingly distinct. Uh, hi, sorry for interrupting. I was just kind of lost. She takes a moment to formulate a response before speaking. Every action she takes feels that it's carefully choreographed beforehand. Care to take a seat? I inspect it, considering that I'm intruding upon her. Mmm, thanks. I slowly step towards another seat opposite to her. The girl's resting the teacup and saucer on the wooden table in between. The way she doesn't track my movements with her head is telling that and that slight cloudiness in her eyes means she must be at least partially blind like Kenji. Come to think of it, her voice doesn't have any detectable accent either. I guess she must be half Japanese. As I take my seat, her composure takes me slightly off guard. Her air of relaxed confidence makes the silence entirely comfortable. The calming atmosphere is very, is so very different from the student council office. I take it you're a new student to Yakumaku, Yamaku, Yamaku. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I just transferred in yesterday. I get the distinct feeling my speech pattern don't ma don't match the formalities of hers. Accent, accent, can say that word. Accentuated. I can't even say that. But her restrained bow of greeting. One which I hasten to match before realizing the futility of the action. I'm Lily Satao. Pleased to meet you. Hasao. Hasao Nakai. She gives me a nod before gesturing roughly in the direction of her teacup. Would you care for a drink? Sure. As much as it pains me, I can't keep, to st I can't keep step with her formality and proceedings. She gives me a kind nod, taking a request in stride. Without another word, she steps off the chair and prepares a second cup of tea from a collection of supplies laid out along a shelf. A brush here, a brush there, her left hand often lightly touching the side of whichever container she's pouring into. Seems to be a process she followed dozens of times before. As I lean sideways to see around her bag, she seems to use her long, dainty finger to measure the right amount of water in the cup. It's one of those things to see the different disabilities the students in my class have, but it's quite to see another how everyone seems to adapt. Chisume and Misha have no problem working together to communicate to me, and Lily herself seems to have workarounds for the problems I never thought of. While I feel slightly guilty about her doing the work, she seems pleased to be following the correct process of the offer of preparing the drink. So, her soft voice brings me out of my silent observance. <clears throat> I like her a lot. She's cool. Which room were you looking for? It's not often this classroom is visited after school. School library, Chisume, and I mean, some classmates told me it was on this floor. She finishes pouring water into the teacup and she nods a small metallic tapping coming from the teacup indicating it's being stirred. I'm aware of Miss Hakamichi as our most students. To be with them means you're in class 3-3 now. That's right, in the science room with uh, Mutuo. 
She gets a small giggle before setting down the teaspoon and slowly walking towards the table to take a saucer in hand. He's quite a character. I imagine you come to like him. Most do. As she sets down the tea, I gently take it and have a sip. I'm really more of a coffee person, but it seems like a rather bad moment to bring it up. Nonetheless, it smells quite nice. I hardly think it'd be hard to choke down. Thanks, Satao. It tastes really nice. She smiles and quickly waves her hand in front of her face. You can't see me, bitch! No, I'm kidding. Nah, I ruined the moment. <laughs> Lily, please. There's no need to be too formal. She says this in spite of her accidentally well-bred speech. Oh, well. I guess I should try to ask her about herself. It really doesn't seem like she's caring to me. So which class are you from? I imagine it's one of the third year classes. Correct. I'm in class 3-2, which is on the third floor, same as yours. I taught by... It's taught by Miyagi. Oh! And specifically for blind and partially blind students. I see. I mean, um, sorry. <laughs> I feel like slapping myself for Fox Pass. Looking at her face, thought she doesn't seem in the least bit put off by it. <laughs> bye bye, there's no need to change your speech on my account. Uh, sure, sorry, I guess I'm really showing my newness here. An environment like this will be a big change, so I can't fault you for it. While the same can't be said for everyone, many have come to terms with their conditions. A category in which we include her, it seems. All to ready to jump ship from this particular topic, it seeks into another. <clears throat> you come here to drink tea often? It's a really nice place. Think on this, this might be her version of the place behind school that I like to have lunch at. Oh. <laughs> I come here fairly often during lunchtime. So my duties as class representative don't leave enough time for an official club, so a friend and I use this room for having tea. Class represented him. Compared to Shitsume, her mannerism seems to be almost completely opposite. While she's most blunt and fiercely, fiercely driven, Lily seems relaxed and calm, almost aloof. I don't even know what that means. Come to think of it, she might be useful for a less biased view of the school clubs. What kind of clubs are there to join? Let's see what she says in a second. Getting some good work here. We're getting some good work. <laughs> so I said, what kind of clubs are there to join? Hmm, the more popular ones are the track and field club, which uses the field near the school during lunch times, the baseball club, and the book club in a room near the library. There are numerous, there are also numerous small ones too though, such as the R and Mesa clubs. And at the time when I'm just wanting to get on my feet, rushing to the club right now away seems Slightly unappealing. I wonder if the school shares the same rules as my old one. Is it compulsory to join a club? It isn't though. It is encouraged. Oh, good. That's a relief. I really let down my guard around this girl to let such things slip out. The fact seems slightly amused her. Huh. Not wanting my tea to get cold, I finally start drinking it and Slitty does the same. So I look to the window over her shoulder and notice the light coming into the room as I distinctly orange tint. Even here, time doesn't stand still. Huh, the time has gone quickly. Sorry? Right, she's blind. Of course she can't see the sun setting. It just looks like the sun's starting to set. Seems to come as a surprise for her. I guess she must have lost track of the time. Sorry, so I didn't mean to keep you from the libraries for so long. I quickly moved to allay her concern. Oh no, it's okay, the library's still open, isn't it? She pauses, takes a moment to think on it. It's probably said something I should have asked you some when I had the chance, but Lily seems likely to know in any case. True. It's open until 6.30 during, weekday, during weekdays. I quickly glance and match, watch confirms I have well enough time to get there. Yes! Hmm, I might get going to that case. It's been nice talking to you, Lily. She smiles and gives me a deep nod, her hands still neatly folded on the table in front of her. Ah, she's so cool. It was my pleasure. Oh, come to think of it, shall I show you where the library is? Yo! 
Yo, these two other girls, I didn't want, they annoy me. Shitsume and, let me see, Shitsume and, I forgot the name. Fuck. But Lily is fucking blind. Cool as shit, and she gonna show me where the library is? What? I couldn't possibly ask for more help. I should be able to find it all right. Well, unless my navigation skills fail me. Which they seem to have a habit doing. It's all right. I was going to talk to the librarian There's there in any case. I could introduce you. This gets better and better. It's pretty hard to deny her offer. If you're sure, then that'll be great. Yeah, thanks. As she stands up to follow me, she takes a whole straight retractable cane that had been slipped to hand over her back on the floor. Compared to the king, the boy in the class uh, had Liz looks much thinner and longer. This must be for support, whereas Lily is for navigation. Together, we leave the peaceful room and enter the empty hallway on the way to the library. And that kid is there again. Side by side, my pace carefully slowed to match hers. We slowly walk through the hallway. It doesn't take long for us to ride the door. To the warm looking room apparently situated in the center of the floor rather than the wing, either wing. Ladies first, I say. She gives me an impressive smile at a gesture, taking the lead as we filed in. To the left is the wooden library counter, with the library proper being on the right. It is easily draws my old school's library, with the distinct smell of old books giving the place an almost old world air. There don't seem to be a lot of students here considering the time. It isn't a big surprise. Everyone probably is either in school grounds or the dorms. Yuko, are you here? She says it in a thin air since the librarian doesn't seem to be present. And of course, Lily can't see this. What's unexpected is that the, it draws a reaction. Something from under the counter thuds against it, followed by quite by a quiet wail. Ah! Oh, she's gorgeous. Look at her. She's so pretty. Look at it. She's gorgeous. The urgent apparently the librarian quickly crawls out and bounces to the extreme rigid attention. Hi, Lily. How can I help you? Her voice is strained in a failing attempt to sound casual, and she's rubbing the back of her head. Good afternoon. What happened just now? I heard a strange sound. It's nothing, I just hit my head. See, I dropped an eraser under my desk while I was looking for a pencil. Dropped in when I was looking for both of them, you came and surprised me. Are you alright? I'm sorry, I couldn't know. It's okay, it's okay, sorry for making you worry. This is nothing, I have worse happen to me. <laughs> she quick to reverse Lily's apologies, almost frantically trying to push aside the possibility that she could be in any way inconvenienced by bashing her head on the counter. Yes, worst things to happen. <laughs> the girl fidgets with her fingers as Lily doesn't seem to drop her concerned expression. And then she shuffles some papers around the counter for no reason. A little shorter than Lily, replete with glasses, freckles, and very troubled look, she seems a fit library perfectly. Oh, Lily, did you get my message? Message, hmm. Oh, the two important books that arrived? Right, right. They finally came. I can't believe it took so long, but... I miss her celebrations, partially for managing to change the topic. I'm sure she notices me from the counter, corner of her eyes and freezes on the spot when she does. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry for not noticing you before. Did you need to check out a book or return one? Return one? Sorry, I'm sorry. The way she can so quickly shift between moves it's a little unsettling. He's with me, Yuko. This is his Hisao, my new student. Hisao, this is Yuko, the school librarian. Pleased to meet you. Hisao, right, Hisao. Pleased to meet you too, Hisao. For a second, she visually attempts to engrave the nave of her mind so she won't forget. Yuko often mentions and imports foreign books in braille for me. Would you like to tell Hisao a little something about the library? Lily's innocent suggestion is met with an expression of abject terror. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you guys really enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. It shows your support. And if you guys want to watch more videos like this, then subscribe so you never miss a video. Woo!